Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It looks like there's a little bit of action out here. I see some pretty good splashes. Maybe we can hook into something good. Fishing a jerk bait. I was fishing one the other day. Managed to get a huge skipjack. Check it out. Fish. Nice. Wow, this is the biggest skipjack I've ever seen. Holy shit. Wow. Check that out. This skipjack, probably three pounds, two or three pounds maybe. Wow, I have never seen a skipjack this big. Thought it was a striper at first. Nope, monster, monster skipjack. Let's let it go. Whoa. All right, let's get some top water tied on here. We'll see if I can get one on top water. All right, I've switched it up to this Chug and Spook Junior. We're gonna try a little top water, see if the commotion We'll attract some of these fish that are out here busting on shad. Looks like they're over there on that end now. Let's go back onto the dock so I can cast at them from all angles. He's down there by it. He didn't give a shit about it though. See that? He rushed him, I don't know, three feet away from my lure. Didn't even give it a look. One more cast with this. Then I'm switching to lipless crank. This is what everyone says to put on, but I don't see him hitting anything on top. I see him swarming giant schools from the bottom and kind of trapping them against the top and swallowing them, but they're not just busting anything on top. I had him chasing shed three feet from this lure. They didn't give a shit. This is not the right formula. Let's go get a lipless crank. Try that. Got it changed up to this lipless crank. Let's see if I can get anything to chase this. They sure as hell weren't chasing the jerk bait or the top water walking bait. I have a feeling these shad will disperse before too long, and then I will lose my chance to catch these fish. So I'm casting out that way into the thick of it. Gonna use that yo yo retrieve. Pull and stop, pull and pause, whatever you wanna call it. Get it to swim up, 
pause, let it sink. Swim up, pause, let it sink. You get the idea. This is the first time this year I've seen them busting on shad. Big stripers. Pretty sure they're stripers. Might also be able to catch them off the bottom if I had one of these shad and I could launch it out there because I'm sure after all that busting someone is going around looking on the bottom for all the all the fish that they uh, have have injured. Yeah, there we go. We got a shad on there. Let's cast them out. Let them sink. Now it looks like two shad right next to each other. I've never caught anything off the bottom. Dead stick in a crankbait, but we'll see what happens. Got my lure, which looks like a shad, and I got a shad foul hooked on there. Just sitting on the bottom. We're gonna see if a big catfish or a striper or something comes and finds it just laying there. Irresistibly delicious. And it's fun to just watch, watch the patterns out there. Fish. Fish on. White bass. Nice. I thought that technique would work. Got a white bass here. I think I'm going to keep them. So I'm going to get back to the car. I'm going to get my other rig. I'm going to set it up with a weight and a hook. And if I fall hook a shad, I'm just going to cast it out there and let it sit on the bottom. Look at this nice size white bass here. You got a treble hook, drop shot rig. If I can catch another shad, I'll cast them out there and let them sit on the bottom while I'm working my lipless crank and see if I can hook into one. Might have a better chance of snagging one with just the treble hook. There we go, got one. So now I'm gonna get this shad off of here. Hook it on my other setup. There we go. I still can't believe I caught one dead stick in a crankbait. Pretty cool. I snagged the shad, then let it sink down to the bottom. Bam. Big old white bass. Oh. I can't believe I snagged something down there. I didn't know there was anything to snag. I'm about to lose a lipless crank. Damn it. No. Broke it off. I think the best thing now is to set this one up like that one and just fish shad on the bottom. So I'm gonna reel this one in while I'm gone because it would get pulled in in a heartbeat. 
All right, I'm just gonna cast the bear treble out and try and snag a fresh shad. Do I got one? I think so. I'm just gonna let it sit there. My line's moving. Fish. Fish on. Largemouth bass. Second fish of the day. Got him on a drop shotted shad. Not bad. Sweet. You know, a little half pound, maybe a little more. Let's let him go. I'm just gonna cast it out here like this without the, without any bait and try and snag a shad with the empty treble. Do I have one? Yep, I got a shad on there. So now I'm just gonna let it sink. I'm gonna play it every once in a while just Move it around so they know it's down there. So I'm fishing shad on the bottom with a drop shot. I learned it from my other video when I caught the crappie the same way. Fish. What do we got? Another largemouth bass. Treble hooked in the mouth pretty deep. Did I bring my pliers? Yeah, I sure did. Second bass on a live shad. That's the, there's the shad I caught. Here's the bass I caught. Another one in that same half pound range. Got him on the bottom. Another one just like that last one, about a half pound. Let's let it go. All in all, not a bad day. I came out here, I saw some fish busting. I tried a few things. Lipless crank, jerk bait, top water but I got the most fish on shad on the bottom. Just cast it out there, snag into a shad, let it sink to the bottom right there. Two large mouth bass and one white bass. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.